happy mental oil change Tuesday. I went for my mental oil change this morning, which was very important. Life sometimes doesn't make sense, right? Especially around the holidays. So you talk to someone and they put things into perspective, right? And don't be embarrassed of it because there should be no stigma attached around mental illness. <laughs> I just did a Christmas light tour. It is raining. It is windy as a hurricane and foggy. <laughs> I had to be on my game, right? I had to be on my game. I'm not really sure how anyone else does light tours, well, it's but it's just like another trip, really. There was a red light, big Metro Transit bus, you know, those accordion ones. So I pull up right, right, slow, right to them. And I open my doors. Nope. This window looks out, I'm like, hey, wanna race? <laughs> He looks back, I got a whole group, right, from the home. He goes, you'd win, you'd to win. To be fair, he had an empty box. I went down this well-known street that should have had all kinds of lights. It was darker than midnight. There was that big storm today. A lot of the lights and decorations were all blown over, except my friend's house, which I knew would be done up nice. So I took the bus down there and laid on the horn 25 times, and she came out, yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> the most beautiful human on earth. And that woman helped me through the hardest time in my life, through my divorce. She came right out to the bus with my people on it and she told her husband to come out too and he was like, usually you wait four hours for the doctor to come see ya. This woman spoke, the man ran. <laughs> it's supposed to be a tour, apparently, for an hour. I thought it was for two hours, right? So uh, I'm not even close to being back to where they live. I'm like, okay, we're gonna try it out here, right? And the girl goes, okay, I don't think we're gonna have time. I'm like, what are you talking about? I was gonna add 15 minutes onto the tour. Anyway, apparently it was only for an hour. So I turned around, I start going, I'm like, does anyone wanna go anywhere else? Like, you know, coffee, whatever. I swear to God, my absolute hero in life, she had to be at least 85. She goes, let's get tattoos. <laughs> You don't have to see people every day, right? To acknowledge what they've done for you and what they continue to do just by being out there, right? That's a lot of people in my life. And I appreciate all you guys. I love yous and you make a difference in my life.